Welcome back to Grapple FK, everyone. Um, as usual, we're going through a fight. It'll be Santiago Ponzinibbio against Li Jingliang. That's how you say his name, right? Yeah, Jingliang. I believe so. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 a normal setup. We'll be analysing the fight, and then stay tuned. At the end of it, we'll give our predictions, and we'll go in depth about how we'll gamble on this and what come come we put it in, etc. So let's get into this. Uh, Santiago back after two years. Very, very dangerous fighter. Dark horse of the division, some people say. One of the dark horses. Um, 28 and 3, which is a ridiculous record. Li Jing Liang, um, 17 and 6. Both around the same size. Uh, Santiago's got a slight reach advantage. Um, let, let's get into this. W what are your initial thoughts, Andrew? So, Ponzinibbio Ponza back after two years. Well, dark horse is the operative word here, as you said. Um, yeah. He's gone under the radar. He doesn't do a lot of media, uh, which I think a lot of, which is why a lot of people don't know about him. Yeah. But he's got a very good record in in the in the UFC, beaten a lot of decent fighters. Uh, not necessarily yeah. the best, uh, but he's no, not not like, elite fighters. No. Yeah, but more most recently Jeff Neal, he put on a clinic against Neil, Neil Magny. Neil Magny. Sorry, Neil Magny. Yeah, I always get yeah. confused between the Jeffs. So yeah, he absolutely ruined Neil Magny, and Neil Magny is a very good striker, a very yeah. good MMA fighter. Was he number twelve at the moment? I think number thirteen, possibly. Was ah, he? Is honest. he higher than that? He's definitely know. top top fifteen. Yeah. So he, he's a he's a very good fighter, and Santiago Ponzinibbio just ruined him. Ruined um, him, yeah. So, but Ponzinibbio is very good at a couple of things that he does very very well. He's got an excellent jab that he yeah really good over and over and over again. Tends to find its mark. It's hard. Um, and he combines that with excellent, thunderous low kicks. I yeah. mean, at uh, Neil Magny fight, he dropped Neil Magny seven, eight times with those kicks. Yeah, I mean, it was probably the, well, I mean, the overall reason was the, the, the right-hand KO, but, I mean, he was done before that. The ref could have probably stopped it from the leg kicks at one point because he was just hobbling around. Yeah, but I mean, Ponsonibio dropped him with the leg kicks multiple yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, 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 multiple times. Yeah, yeah. multiple times. Which, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, uh, he did. I think he did that to Mike Perry twice as well in their yes. fight. Yeah, and Mike Perry's shorter and stockier. Yeah, than your so Magnet. There's incredible yeah. power in those low, low leg kicks. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So I mean, he's basically built a career on that jab and that low kick. Um, and it serves him really, really well. I think he, he, I think he's a smart fighter as well. He knows what he's good at, and he knows those two things could win fights. And he sticks to that game plan religiously. At least he did yeah. with, with Neil Magny. Very patient, very disciplined. He doesn't get overexcited. He, he just does that over and over again, and it wins in fights. That said, at the same time, um, in the Mike Perry fight, that turned into a little bit of a brawl. Mike Perry did give him some problems. Yeah, uh, particularly in the first round. Yes. Uh, mm. I think he got wobbled in the first round. Yeah, he did. Uh, I mean, ultimately, Ponzinibbio did out outstrike him, and he did get the better of him, particularly in, in the final round, which he won very decisively. Yeah. Um, but what I learned from that fight is a couple of things. Ponzinibbio is not great going backwards. He's a lot better going forwards. Um, yeah. And going backwards, if you're being pressured... You know that that's not great. If you're if you're going backwards, then you need to be just landing something. You need to be slipping. You need to be cutting angles to get out of there. You need to be countering. And he didn't really do much of that at all. But on the other hand, against uh, Mike Perry in in the firefight when the when they're trading in the pocket and it turns into a, a messy brawl, Ponzinibbio did very well. So yeah. you can both stick to a very clean game plan: jab, low kick, over and over again. But when it gets messy, he can also hold his own. So he can yeah. adapt and survive when things get chaotic um so yeah he, he he's he's i'm, I'm not going to say he's an amazing striker and i say striker because this is almost certainly going to be a, a kickboxing match yeah I'm not, I'm not saying he's the world's best striker um but it's, it's decent like it is very very good and deep effective jeff uh, neil magny the way he did um says a lot yeah and he's got ko power what well, the, they both have ko power um yeah. But yeah, I, 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 yeah, I agree with that. And I, and I think against Mike Perry, uh, in all his fights, he circles very well. He's constantly moving, uh, which makes him hard to hit. Um, I also think against Mike Perry, 
he um what was it, what was I gonna say now? He's got decent takedowns as well. He took down Mike Perry about two or three times, I think. He's got decent takedowns. Yeah. He yeah. yeah. He's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. I don't think he has a wrestling background because he's from Argentina. He's from a kickboxing background, but then he moved to Brazil to study BJJ. So he's got he's a, he's a Brazilian he's a uh, he, he's a BJJ black belt. So he's got an overall good game plan. But I agree with you in that. He his jab to the body and his jab to the head is really good. His low kicks are very very good. Um, he sticks and moves. He, he sticks to his game plan. He's disciplined. He's, he's not really a combo fighter. He doesn't. That's my one qualm about him. He doesn't really throw combos, um, which at this level, I don't think is, is going to really affect him in any way. But I think if he does win this, which he probably will, in my opinion, but if he moves up, if he moves up the ladder, I think that will that will be a question mark against his yeah. name. I think um, you're exactly right. And just, just on that point. You, you said he doesn't throw combos, and that is indicated in his striking differential, which which ties into exactly what you said, which that's not uh, an elite level striking differential at all. What is it? Let's check it now. It's basically even, I think. Yeah, it's almost even. Yeah, you're almost right. Almost even, yeah. But I was also thinking, if, 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 you're, if you have so much success with that low leg kick, and he's probably got the heaviest low... Leg yeah, kicks his kicks are in the UFC. really hot. Yeah, does, does that striking differential even matter when you're doing that much damage to people's legs? Good point. Very good point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, may, may, maybe that striking differential isn't something we need to worry about necessarily. Yeah, I mean his leg kicks off. Yeah, I mean he he lifts people off the off off the oxygen floor is ridiculous. Yeah. Um. And his last loss came in 2015. He got KO'd. I think he's only been KO'd once in his career. Um, so he has a chin. Lee also has a chin. Um, in terms of overall grappling ability, what's your opinion? I mean, he is a BJJ black belt. He has taken people down. Uh, he took Mike Perry down a few times. Um, he's been taken down himself. He normally tends to get straight back up uh, when he gets taken down. I haven't seen enough of his grappling to, to form an opinion. In those exchanges yeah. with Mike Perry where he got him to the ground, he wasn't able to keep Mike Perry, Mike Perry on the ground. No, he wasn't, yeah. Uh, so we, we talk about, you know, Brazilian uh, black belts. It doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot because, you know, making the transition from gi jiu-jitsu to no gi grappling is, can be a big leap. Yeah. For a lot of fighters. Um, one fight I didn't watch, which I probably should have watched, was that fight against, I don't know, who am I thinking? Um, no, I was assuming Gunnar Nelson was a grappler, uh, but I'm confusing him with someone else, I think. I think Gunnar Nelson is a, is, a, is a grappler. Is he? Yeah. But he KO'd him very quickly. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I probably should have watched that fight. Yeah, so basically, if, in terms of grappling, I, I don't really know. Well, what's yeah. his takedown? His takedown defense is 60%. It's not bad. I mean, normally when he gets taken down, he just gets straight back up. He's quite strong. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think it'll come into this fight necessarily because the Chinese guy, Jiang Ling, whatever. Lee. Just call him Lee. Lee. Uh, yeah. So he tried to take down Jeff Neal. I think he'd gone down maybe once or twice, but he didn't have that much success. I don't think his takedowns are too much to worry about. No, he did take down Dos Santos. Um and he took down, who else did he take down? I think he took down Dos Santos. Yeah, he took down Dos Santos twice. He's taken David Zawada down once. He can take people down, but I mean, he's not really a wrestler. Uh, I haven't seen much of his BJJ. He's, he's a striker. Uh, he's a striker with uh, pretty good power in his right hand, mainly from what I've seen. Yeah, I mean, so Lee's striking is is good. It's is funda he has fundamentally decent boxing. Yeah. He he will hit you. He's got a nice double jab, a nice triple jab. Um, nice right hand. Yeah, a really good one too. That right hand is, is money. He's yeah. knocked out quite a lot of people with that. Um, sometimes he's aggressive. Sometimes he'll let people walk him down in that, for example, against Elisio Zaleski Dos Santos. He let yeah. him 
come to him. And yeah. time, this was a, a bit of a mixed picture because, I, again, talking about, you know, fighting backwards and forwards, he let Dos Santos basically walk him down. And, you know, some of the time, you know, he was cutting angles and countering. He, he was just getting in with the uppercuts and he was firing off combinations as Dos Santos was coming forward. Other times he, he let himself just be pressured and pushed back. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know why he let Dos Santos walk him down because I think he's the better striker of the two. I think he, he would have done a lot better just planting his feet and just trading bombs. Yeah. I mean, it was still a, it was still, you know, it was still a, a good victory. I mean, he knocked him down three times in the fight. So, yeah. Um, I mean, he, he looked good for sure. Um, yeah, he looked good. But against Neil Magny, I mean, Neil Magny ruined him. Yeah, I mean, Lee wasn't able to do anything in that fight. Yeah, he wasn't able to do anything. Uh, yeah. First round was okay for him. He, he tagged Neil with, with one big shot. Uh, he was doing okay, but then um, Magny just took over in the second round. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Magni had him up against the cage for for a lot of that. Fight. A lot, yeah, and he was just teeing off on him, knees, yeah. uh, punches, so on. Yeah, so, that's, uh, that's their opponent in common, but you know MMA math doesn't really work. Um, yeah, so, so I mean, yeah. Lee's boxing is 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 fundamentally sound. Um, yeah, it's mainly about that powerful right hand. There's nothing magical about it. Um, but the the interesting thing is, yeah, he looked he looked decent. He had a strong performance against the. Uh, at least Dos Santos. Yeah. But and Dos Santos has got has beaten quite a few decent guys. Yeah, he's not a bad fighter. He's a pretty good fighter. Uh yeah. But the other people that um Lee has faced are there is not the same caliber that Ponzinibbio has faced. No, no, they're not. Yeah. And this kind of brings uh, brings in uh, begs the question, yes, Lee looks really good against all that Dos Santos and all the other guys he's beaten. But can he look that good against somebody like the mm. No. Can he look that good against someone like uh, Ponzinibbio? Probably not. Probably not, no. Um, Lee does throw decent-ish leg kicks, but I mean, I, I think Ponzinibbio's leg kicks are just a different different level of power. 100%. Yeah, and, and that's the real danger, I think, for Lee, is that I don't think Ponzinibbio needs many kicks to really hurt his front leg. If it's the old Ponzinibbio, I mean, he did, he's been out for two years, right? And we've yep. seen with some fighters that they'll come back after two years. They don't look the same. With other fighters, they come back after two years. They look incredible. Mm. Um, he, he had a few few injuries. I'm not, I'm not sure what his injuries were. Do you know? No, I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not sure what his injuries were. But, I mean, he's still young. He's 34, youngish, not bad. He's, he's got another three, four years in the game. I'm not worried um, about the time off. Um, yeah, yeah, he's at a good, he's at a good camp. Um, he's a good fight. He's got a lot of experience. Maybe he needed time off. You know, 30, 30 plus fights. That's a lot of fights. Yeah, I mean, yeah. time off can be well. Um, you know, it's presumably given time to, to heal his injuries. Yeah. So he could actually be in a better shape than he was previously, fighting without these nagging injuries. Um, yeah. So how do you think they'll clash? I mean, obviously, you know, they're both the same size. They're both strikers. They're both relatively aggressive. Both decent boxers. I, I think Ponsonibe will come forward. He'll pump yeah. that jab um, and he'll probably walk uh, Lee down. And I think if Lee stays true to form, he'll probably let himself be walked down uh, to some extent with the occasional firefight in the middle. Yeah. Um, with the occasional bit of aggression from Lee, but mostly Ponsonibio pushing the pace. And one thing I wanted to mention that ties into this question, Ponsonibio in that fight against uh, Neil Magny has the best cage control I've ever seen. His cage control is really good. Yeah, cutting yeah. him off at, all the time. Relentless. Yeah, yeah, constantly cutting off, giving him nowhere to move. So he's constantly mm. in the cage. So he's constantly on, on the back foot. And of course, you can't fight on the back foot. And and it got just got to the point where you know Ponce Nibbe was just firing off at will. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I can see Ponce Nibbe doing that to to Lee. Um, I can see the occasional firefight in the center of the octagon, perhaps. I can see Lee maybe having some some success going backwards. Uh, maybe evading a few a few shots, cutting angles, slipping some punches, but not necessarily enough of that to counteract the forward pressure of of Ponce Nibbe. Yeah. 
<coughs> what, what, what do you think? I think, yeah, pretty much what you said, really. Um, excuse me, I got a call. Uh, excuse me. Uh, no, don't worry, Wally. Just, well, it, yeah, I've just completely fucked this up, haven't I? No, I can't. That'd be rude. Um, who, who is it? Who I think exactly... It? I don't know. Uh, I've turned it off now anyway. I think exactly what you said. Um, I think they'll, they'll, they'll probably meet at the middle. Obviously, they'll meet at the middle. I think uh, Ponzinibbio will push him back, circle around, throw, throw, the, throw the leg kicks, probably hurt Lee's legs quite badly, and then kind of tee off on him, use a jab to the body, use a jab to the head. And then um, obviously Lee's got Lee's got power in the right hand, and I think Ponzinibbio will be aware of that because it's the same thing with Mike Perry. He was very careful with Mike Perry until when when they did get in the pocket. Even then, I thought it was a firefight, but Santiago, you know, stayed five ten seconds and then he got out of there again. Mm. So I he wasn't it wasn't like a thirty seconds or one minute of trying to kill each other. I think he's a very measured fighter from what I've seen. I think he knows exactly yeah. what's going on. Yeah, and I think he's a smart he, fighter. He comes in very with a smart. game plan and makes yeah. sure, make sure he sticks to it as much as he possible. Sticks to it exactly, yeah. and and that's how you win fights, right? So, yes. um, yeah, I think he he oh, he'll have a game plan and he'll execute it. I don't really see what Lee can do here, apart from obviously, you know, get a, a get a flash knockout or something. I don't think he can win a unanimous decision or a decision against Ponzinibbio. Yeah, I mean, for Lee, a decision win is not happening. He needs to get no. that knockout. You need to which, get a knockout, yeah, which is possible. Possible. I mean, he's been knocked out once before in his career, I think. But I mean, he has got a very good chin. I mean, Mike Perry tagged him really hard a few times, um, and he didn't go down. And Mike Perry hits hard. So, um, and same for Lee. Lee's got a very good chin too. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I, th- I think Lee's got a good chance in the first round. The problem Lee has is that his legs are going to get chewed up. And if you want to knock people out with that right hand, is that's going you to be to... increasingly difficult to do when your legs are weak and wobbly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so I think if if, if Ponsonipio gets out of the first round, he wins this. Yeah. Also, Yeah, I'm I mean, not... I, th- I think... Sorry, carry on. Also, just another point. The Ponsonipio's got really good cardio. He's gone like four rounds against uh, Neil, Neil Magny. And he, and he was throwing throughout the four rounds. Yes. He's yeah. the same in the fourth round as he was in the first round. So there's great endurance there. In the, the, the fight I saw with Lee against, um, who was it? Uh, was it Magny? He expended an awful lot of energy in the first round trying to get uh, Magny down. And he was tired. Yeah, he was going oh. for takedowns. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's, I think the endurance factor favors Ponzinibbio. Yeah, yeah, this is a three-round fight. Yeah, I'd agree with that as well. Yeah, I, th- I think... Let's get on to predictions now, um, because I think we've analysed it quite well. Um, I think Santiago Ponzinibbio will... finish Lee in the third round. No, actually, no. I don't think he'll finish him. I think it'll be a unanimous decision for Santiago. Can you just scroll down so we can see how Lee loses? He just he normally loses by um, unanimous decision. Decision. He's been subbed once, but I mean, I don't really see this going to the ground that much. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think this will be a dominant performance where Ponce Dibio wins two rounds to one or three, three rounds to zero. Mm. Um, of course, the caveat is with Lee's kind of power. He does have power, yeah. He's got the puncher's chance, but I'd say 65% of the time Ponce Dibio wins this. I'd say probably higher. I think 70, 75. I mean, the, mm. maybe 65 given he's been off two years and we don't really know how we look, but that's the only... Yeah, I mean the puncher's chance is always there in MMA, but I think the main the main problem is him being off for two years. But I think it's a good comeback fight for him. Yeah, I think it's the right kind of level. Yeah, exactly, um, right kind of level. It's a decent matchup. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing Lee's probably like top 25-ish. So just, you know, just slightly outside the top 15, maybe. He's four, he's four, he's four uh, ranked people before. Uh, Dos yeah. Santos was number 14 when he fought him. So, um, I'm just, yeah, he's probably top 20, top 25. I think it's a good comeback fight for him. So, yeah, I think unanimous decision, Ponzinibbio. Uh, so, w- w- what are the odds? Because, I mean, I'm guessing Ponzinibbio's a heavy favourite here. He is. What odds do you think they've given Ponzinibbio? Uh, minus 200, minus 250-ish. Minus probably. 300. Minus 300? Well, yeah. It's a little... A little Yeah, high. I was... Yeah, it is a little high. Yeah, I mean, actually, I, I kind of agree with it. I'd say, I'd say maybe two fifty is is, is two, fair. Two fifty, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see see that two fifty, two twenty five, just so we get some value here, because there's not a whole lot of value at minus three hundred for Ponzinibbio. No, um, yeah, there's not much value there, but I think it's it, I think it's a very safe fight. Yeah, I think it's fairly safe. Um, yeah. I think safe enough, and there's enough value at minus three hundred to put it in the safe. Come, come. Yeah. Alongside, who else have we got? Uh, Holloway. Max. Yeah. So far, Max, and then we'll have a uh, we'll have another look at at the card very soon. Yeah, just looking at the uh, odds here. I mean, R- Ricky Simon is fighting Gaetano Pireo. Never heard of him. Yeah, me neither. So he's uh, also minus 300 or thereabouts. Actually, okay. minus, minus 333, actually, I, I believe. Uh, well, we'll be covering it soon, so. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking of that for the, the Comcom potentially as well. Uh, but yeah, I think we've got two decent fights for the Comcom. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm pretty confident in those two fights and the two fights we have so far. Yes, so am I. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. It's it's a it's a battle of it's a battle of strikers, and uh, Santiago's just got the um, the better overall striking game. Yes, it, yeah. it's a strange one. I, I would say, I, I would actually say, in terms of pure boxing, Lee is the better fundamental boxer. But when it comes to the application of striking in MMA, Pontenibo is more effective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what Lee Lee's base martial art was, because his boxing is pretty good. Well, I know uh, Kung Fu, Santiago. It? Sorry, it's got to be Kung Fu because he's Chinese. Possibly Kung Fu, yeah. But I know uh, Santiago. Well, I'm joking. Kickboxing. That's a joke, by the way. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't know. It's it's Kung Fu or something. <laughs> uh, I was like, Wushu. Well, well, Wushu. Hey, no, no, it actually could be. It could actually be Wushu. Yeah, it uh, actually be what Wushu or Kung Fu, Kung Fu possibly. It's actually a very yeah. serious thing in uh, in China. Yeah. But, but to me, it looks like boxing. The, I, I see some. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You may, yeah. may have been like an amateur boxer or something. Yeah. I uh, mean, boxing is, is fundamentally sound. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's it, really. I've got Ponzinibbio by unanimous decision and Andrew. Yeah, same Ponzinibbio via unanimous decision and put him in the safe cum cum along with Max Holloway. Yeah, put him in the safe come come along with Max Holloway. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be releasing more videos very shortly. Take care.